Comrade Cadet, welcome to the last training mission in which we will cover the air-to-ground capabilities of the MiG-19P. MiG-19 has been designed as an interceptor. However, it can be quite effective at attacking ground targets using the guns, rockets and bombs. For this sortie, you are loaded with all kinds of ordnance that MiG-19 can carry. Two 250 pound bombs, 16 S5M rockets and full load of ammo for the 30mm cannons. You will take off and follow the flight plan to get to the range. On the way, you will prepare the aircraft for the attack and I will brief you on the best ways of engaging the targets with different weapons. Good. Let's not waste any more time on the ground. Take off climb to 3000 meters and contact me when you're ready to begin.
Alright, first let's prepare all the systems. Turn on the side heating and indication. Now enable the rocket launchers. Provide power to the left and right cannon. Finally, turn on the cockpit and aircraft gun cameras. Very good comrade, we will begin with dropping the bombs. The range is marked with green smoke. Your anchor point is 10 kilometers to the north over the sea. Go there and let me know when you're ready to continue. Ready to drop some bombs, comrade? Let's prepare your jet. First look at the ASP-5 panel and move the selector knob to the bombs position, second from the left. Now choose the bomb selector mode. In auto, both bombs will be released at the same time. In manual, each trigger press will release one bomb. Leave the switch on auto. Verify that two green lamps behind the stick indicating suspension load are illuminated and turn on the arm bombs fuse switch. Now select the dive angle using the knob on the right side of the sides. As a general rule you will want to use between 30 and 50 degrees. Good, time to select the target size. On this run you will bomb a brick garage that is approximately 30 meters wide Introduce this value using the wingspan knob on the left side of the sides. Finally, determine the desired distance for bombing, using the knob on the throttle. For most targets it would be between 1500 and 2000 meters. Now uncage the sides. You are ready to engage the target. Dive towards it and put the reticle directly over the garage. Wait for its sides to touch the side's ring and then release the bombs. Let's see how it goes. You can now attack the garage. It is located at the southern end of the island. After you drop the bombs, return to the anchor point and let me know when you're ready to move on.
That garage is still standing. Better luck next time, comrade. Now we will practice using the rockets. You will engage a group of trucks at the northern side of the island. The steps to follow are similar to those for the bombs. First, wish to select a knob on the ASP5 panel to the leftmost position in order to select the rocket pods. Choose the desired salvo setting. 4 RO for 4 rockets, auto for releasing rockets as long as the trigger is pressed, and 1 RO for 1 rocket with each press. Select the attack distance using the knob on the throttle. The normal range is between 1500 and 2000 meters. Introduce the target size using the wingspan knob. For the vehicle set it to 5 meters. Make sure that the gun side is uncaged. You are clear to engage the targets. They are located at the northern part of the island. When you are done, return on the station and let me know when you want to move on. Good shooting, you managed to score some hits. Alright, the cannons. Basically you use them in exactly the same way you would use the rockets. Begin with switching the selector knob on the ASP5 panel to the NR30 position. Finally, turn on the cockpit and aircraft gun cameras. Select the desired distance using the knob on the throttle. The recommended value is 1000 meters, but it's up to pilot's preference. Choose the target size. Normally you will want to keep it at 5 to 7 meters, unless you attack larger objects like trains or ships. Check that the gun side is uncaged. Your targets this time around are located at the eastern edge of the range. A white bus and civilian truck. You are clear to engage them. Let me know when you finish your attack.
Seems you did some damage there. Well done. That's it, comrade. That was the last training mission. You are now ready for real combat. I wish you good luck and exemplary service in the Soviet Air Forces. You may RTB now.